today I want to talk to you about one of the important questions of modern time and the question is what's the rush? Hi, this is Eric Tyrell. I'm a Swedish keynote speaker and uh, today I'm in beautiful Tulesand on the west coast of Sweden. I'm doing a speech here today and this hotel, Hotel Tulesand, is very famous in Sweden for the nice beaches here. But it's also famous because this hotel is owned uh, by the Swedish pop star Per Gessle. And if you don't know who he is, he is actually the guy singing in the Swedish uh, pop group Roxette, who made the hit songs like uh, Must Have Been Love and The Look. On the flight over here, something interesting happened. And uh, when I tell you the story, I think you're going to recognize exactly what I'm talking about. And it's when the plane touched down and the seatbelt signs were switched off, people were like crazy. It was like champagne cars popping up from their seats. Everybody was jumping out in the aisle, cramming together, waiting to get off the plane. And I had the person next to me, I was sitting in the aisle seat and he was sitting in the window seat and he was so stressed getting uh, out in the aisle and I thought he was actually gonna crawl over me and I thought, hey, where are you going? I mean, there's no more space to stand here. Everybody is already taking all the little space there is. And the funny thing is that it takes about four or five minutes for, for the plane to open the doors before they let people off. So where are people going? It's like iPhone 7 is being released for a dollar each or something people are crazy and I thought what's the rush what's the rush I have a friend a really good friend Simon and uh, I remember the first time we had dinner together uh, when I was half finished with my plate he was already done you know he, he was eating like somebody was gonna steal his food or something and I said Simon why are you stressing enjoy the food why are you eating so fast and he said well you don't know how it is I have three children and you have to really eat fast because you know you don't have time for yourself you don't have time to eat and I said well Simon your kids are not here right now and of course I also get stressed sometimes for no reason at all Last week I was driving my car, I was going to do a speech somewhere and I was driving down this road and I, there was this car coming up, driving in front of me and he was driving like three or four miles an hour below the speed limit and it just drove me nuts, you know, come on, come on, go, go, go and finally I did something very, very stupid, I overtook him in a very very dangerous way and it nearly costed my life and actually I met another car so it might have costed that driver's life as well so stupid and what happened 30 seconds after that event I hit a red light so I had to stop and I was watching the rearview mirror and I see this slow car coming up you know taking his time listening to some music coming up standing behind me and that guy must have thought that I was the most stupid guy in the whole world. So I think the world is now spiraling down in a very, very bad road where we get more and more stressed. And, and with stress comes a lot of diseases and problems. And we try to be so efficient all the time. It's got, we gotta have things going on all the time. We can't even eat dinner by ourselves without watching TV or listening to something. You know what I mean? And we do this thing, this thing called multitasking. And we do it because we want to be more efficient. When studies have shown that multitasking makes us more inefficient. So the point of me doing this video today is not to give you any answers. It's rather to give you a question like what are you going to do about this when are you going when are you going to change your behavior i don't know what it is for you maybe you need to meditate more or stop and doing things for yourself like tony robbins he's talking about this hour of power you start your morning getting focused and this is the hour or half an hour that you spend with yourself meditating working out whatever it is i don't know maybe the answer is just next time you get stressed ask yourself the question What's the rush?